Shotgun. Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're getting back on that shabby experience that is Icarus. And today I want to discuss something very important, or what I believe is very important, probably some of the best content in this game. And as you can see here, it's what I'm holding. It's guns. So we've got three guns in the game, right? We've got the rifle, we've got the pistol, and we've got the shotgun. Now I'm going to tell you right now, one of these is trash, okay? One of these I would never suggest wasting the money, the money and the resources on to actually use. So let's go down the list here and take a peek at each of these, okay? So I've got a polar bear out here that we're gonna test these on and I've got my kill cam off so that way we can try and see the damage. So I wanna get a little closer. I wanna get the first shot with the rifle here to show you the damage, especially the sneak attack damage, okay? And just so you're aware, I only got a couple perks in. The talents. So what I have right now is I have the cheaper crafting for both shotgun ammo and rifle as well as freebies for an extra chance to craft and then only have 15% reload speed and then an extra 3% damage with rifles. So even if you go talentless, this should be pretty much the same because at the end of the day, 3% is not that crazy of an idea, right? So let's get a good shot in on this polar bear here and show you what this thing is capable of. 3,090. So 3% would be that extra 90 right there. Shotgun. Look at that. See all that damage? I'm not sure how many shots it gets off. It's probably like eight, six or eight, but it's all about 120 damage. So look at that one headshot with the rifle and then a good shotgun follow up as it charges you. Easy. Don't even have to flinch. You don't even have to think too hard about it. So that's how easy that is. That's great. Now let's take a look at another. Let's go find another polar bear here and let's go check out the pistol as well. And as well as non stealth attack damage with the rifle. Here we go. It took a while to find you, but I found you, you sneaky bastard. So I'm going to start off with the sneak attack of the pistol, right? Just so we can see some extra damage here. So it should be a thousand. Yep. So pistol's a thousand. Now, this is what I hate about the pistol and why I think the pistol is garbage. It's only got one shot and then you got to reload it. So why am I paying in the same exact ammo cost for a pistol bullet as I do a rifle? And with the rifle, 1,200. 36 is that extra percentage there. There you go. 1236. I missed the dodge because I was out of I was out of stamina or, or I was stuck in that reload animation. So I kind of shot myself in the foot there figuratively. But otherwise, you know, it's a two shot to kill these things with a rifle or a two shot with rifle and then shotgun. And the pistol, honestly, the pistol's awful. Like for for a thousand damage of sneak attack. <coughs> Or 400 damage of just headshot non-sneak attack. Well, why would I waste one iron and one gunpowder for one bullet for that when I could just make a flint arrow instead? I can make a flint arrow. I won't be the same damage. Oh, granted, it'll be a little less, but my attack speed will be faster. Um, personally, do not suggest the pistol whatsoever. I think the pistol's trash. Um, I don't see a way to use it. Leave me a comment down below if you have a better idea or you just have a different opinion of the pistol. I'd love to hear it. But let's take a look at the talents here. Let me just go stand on this rock. Make sure no polar bears spawn around me here. So, talents. What is the best way to go? I do enjoy the cheat, the rifle reduction and the shotgun slash um, ammo crafting for cheapness here. What it does is it gives you a times five option, okay? So, obviously, you can't really make it cheaper for making one bullet at a time when it costs one iron and one gunpowder for a rifle and one copper seven gunpowder for a shotgun shell but what it does is it gives you a times five craft with for only four times the resources so it's actually really beneficial especially in the long run i'd say now that i've got faster reload speed for rifles i put that in here just because you know we've got eight shells in the shotgun i don't know what kind of scenario i'd be in where i'm going to spam all eight of those unless i'm freaking out like some like some crazy maniac, but otherwise I'm going to be using the rifle more often. Two shots from a distance should kill most things, so that's why I'm going for the reload speed. And then with these four perks, it got me down to rifle redress here so I can get the damage. And that just brought me down so I can get the freebies so we can get crafting double ammo. Um, you can obviously go the shotgun side if you want to get that extra damage with the shotgun. 
me personally, I think the extra damage with the rifle is going to be better because I can start from further off and get the better shots in from a distance, maybe two or three before anything really reaches me. And by then, hopefully it's already dead. And then you on the left side, you have the pistol faster reload and increased damage. It's trash. If it gave me a higher clip size, I'd think about it, honestly. Like if I could get a clip size of six on this thing so I could pop off, I'd be all in. But it doesn't. Right side, reduced fire weight of care of firearms, the carry weight of firearms. These things are a kilogram. Like what 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 is if I even carried all three, what is what is three quarters of a kilogram really gonna do for me, right? The movement speed though, moving down the tree is pretty nice. Ten percent movement speed. But if you kinda have a solo build like I do where I have the bow as well, I've already got the movement speed in the bow, so I'm gonna carry the bow with me. So I might as well just have the bow out so I don't need to go down this pathway. Now, you would if you wanted to get reduced bullet spread. Again, I don't think it's useful. Um, if you're if you're just not panicking and use your shotgun appropriately, you'll have a be you'll still have a good spread. You saw me hit every bullet on that polar bear, so. Now it's the same thing with the reduced firearm. That's whatever. Um, though getting down here to the chance to not consume ammo, I think that's really useful. Ammo's not cheap. It's also not like super expensive, but it'll add up over time, especially the shotgun. So having a 10% chance to not consume ammo makes a big difference. And you'll really notice it if you swap from the bow to a gun when you have a chance to save your ammo, because all, all projectiles have a percentage chance to not be consumed or not break for arrows, whereas your bullets are going to break every time. So here, 10% chance. That's pretty nice to have this magical ability in here that doesn't make sense in a real world. But and then obviously this is the this is the nuts and bolts of this is the sharpshooter. You want to get this 15% critical damage with firearms. That's what I'm rushing down towards. So I'm gonna get the um I'm gonna go for uh, more damage next, and then I'm gonna get all of the sharpshooter. I'm gonna get the 10% chance to get the shots. And then if I have points still by the time I get up there, because I think you you get talent points up to 60, we'll finish off the reload speed here. And if that's also the case, I'll probably just go and get some shotgun damage as well, just because why not? The shotgun is a great weapon. Rifle's better, but shotgun's great when everything gets in your face because you can pop off eight shots because you got a nice large clip size. So I think that's, that's my breakdown of the guns here. Um, let me go back to the base and let's show you the crafting requirements for this. But if you guys did find this video useful and you found it informative, please leave a like down below. It really helps out a lot. It lets me know what you guys are loving right now. It's, oh my God, I did not know that was alive. I'm dead. That scared the crap out of me. I didn't realize he was alive. I thought that was the dead polar bear I had earlier. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are loving this stuff, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you do hit subscribe as well so you can get more of that sweet Icarus content and plenty of the other content we have on this channel. And otherwise, stand by while we go look at some resource requirements for these guns. All right, so guns, obviously not the cheapest thing you can make in this game. So the shotgun, um, basically the only thing that really matters here, a steel screw, one steel bar will give you 100 screws. So don't worry about the steel, honestly. What matters here is the 26 steel ingots. Which, and to make a steel ingot, you need to make steel bloom, which is six iron ore and a coal. So essentially, take that times six. So you need 144 iron ore to make one shotgun. Then you got the shotgun shell, which is a copper, an epoxy, and, a, and five gunpowder. That's with the reduction talent, mind you. This is the times five I was telling you about. So instead, you would do this to make five at a time, and you would have four copper, four epoxy, and 23 gunpowder and save yourself some resources. The downside here is epoxy is a little rougher to get a hold of, so it, it's this is very resource heavy, which is why you definitely want to get that shotgun ammo reduction cost. And same with the gunpowder. Gunpowder is not the worst. It's charcoal and sulfur, so it just requires a bit of extra farming. Then we've got the rifle. Where is it? There it is. So here, same thing. It's the only thing that really matters here. The four epoxy is whatever. It's only four for a gun, but we've got 40 steel ingots. So that's 240 iron ore to make this and also 40 coal, but the coal is inconsequential, but it's 240 iron ore. So that's like an entire small, actually that's bigger than a small cave. So when you want to make these guns, you can do it early. You just have to find a tier two cave, you know, one of those bigger caves that have like 20, 20 nodes in it, or preferably even one of those tier three ones that have like 50 in there or whatever it is. So Definitely need a lot of grinding to get to that. The bullets here for the one is one and one, and that doesn't change with the talent. What you get with the talent is the times five, so it's a four and four. So really cheap, honestly. Iron ingots and gunpowder, 
really easy to come across, and it's only a one to one. Whereas with the shotguns, it's a five to one for the gunpowder and epoxy. And this doesn't require epoxy, which makes it really good as well. Then, just in case you want to know with the pistol, again, don't do this. It's crap. Twenty steel ingots for the pistol. It's it's four less than the shotgun. So you need to come up in here with a um, hundred and hundred and twenty. Did I do the math wrong over here? No, two forty. Yeah. So you need 120 iron ore for this one. It's just not worth it. The pistol's garbage. Like, if you're going to make the steel, put put it into your shotgun, go get yourself a rifle, and do many other important things than build a pistol. Uh, pistol here, it's also a one in one It has the same cost as your rifle ammo. So I would assume the times five when you get it would also be a four to four. I can't imagine it be any different. So, and also, I've got the hunter armor on right now. That's why we were cold when we were running around the tundra. I don't have my fur armor on me when I went out there, so that's the only case. And then, to obviously make these, you have a couple things you have to do in the talent tree. Or the tech tree, I should say. So, you have to unlock gunpowder, so you're going to need the porter, and the porter and pestle. Mortar and pestle, what is wrong with me? To get gunpowder, and to get steel bloom, and to get epoxy. Epoxy can be made with two sulfur and four sap like you see here, but it can also be made with crushed bone And I believe it's four crushed bones. So essentially eight bones will give you an, an epoxy So that's also a great recipe to grab and then of course we're gonna need to go down the tree So we need the oh we're on tier two coming into tier three You need to get the machining bench obviously to start it off So that's also gonna be 40 iron ingots 120 nails So that'll be 52 iron ingots to start with and then the 10 epoxy then you have to get the cement mixer so another 20 iron ore and another so 21 iron bars there to make that going into the concrete furnace for another 12 iron and 12 epoxy in some concrete mix and then in the concrete furnace this is what you have to have in order to make steel bars so you must have this in order to progress that and then, of course, you need to move down to the line here. You got to go get your pistol ammo, your pistol and pistol ammo if you want this. Trash, don't do it. Get shotgun and shotgun ammo and get rifle and rifle arrow. And we'll test out the incendiary rounds eventually as well. I want to see what the fire damage is like. I just haven't done it yet. Let's do it now. We'll, do, we'll end the video with a nice incendiary round shot into that polar bear that killed us, hopefully. All right, the polar bear is like just right there. I can see its name through. So let's swap over to the incendiary round. And wrap this up with one more kill and see what the damage is here. So this does 250 to 250 damage rather than 300 of the basic round. But we'll also see what the fire DOT is here, right? And damage. So nothing great, honestly. That's nothing really to shake a fist at, right? So... Honestly, is there a per point to it? Perhaps somewhere in the world there's a point to those incendiary rounds, but if it's only going to do 10 DOT damage, um, I'm not going to spend that extra gunpowder because it's 10 gunpowder. So it costs the same as a regular rifle, but so it's one iron and 10 gunpowder, and there's no uh, cost reduction, so I'm not a fan. Um, maybe down the line we'll find a good use for that. You know, maybe it's a situation, like a hazardous situation thing. Maybe we want to start a fire with a gun. But at that point, I'd probably just use a fire arrow anyways. But all right, guys. That's going to wrap up our discussion here on guns. I hope you found this useful and informative, and I hope it makes it so you make good talent choices as well as good blueprint choices so you don't waste your time getting the pistol. I don't know if I made this clear. Don't get the pistol. But if you do, and you ha have a reason why, leave me a comment down below. I love better criticism to tell me when I'm wrong, especially when I'm wrong. So tell me what you think down below. Let me know what your favorite weapon is, whether it's the shotgun, the rifle, or the pistol as well. And if you're new here, do hit subscribe as well as you can get back for that sweet shabby content. And as usual, this has been Shabby Do, and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.